When looking at a big board, which isn't based around team needs and instead a ranking of the best players in a draft, things can change around considerably. Carl Anthony Towns would be at the top of the list. Towns' ability to impact the game on both ends of the court gives him as much upside as any prospect in the draft, while also making him a relatively safe pick. Second would be Jaleel Okafor. While Okafor has some concerns on the defensive side of the court, the ability for a team to run an offense through him would be tough to pass up. D'Angelo Russell would fall in third. Russell's perimeter shooting and electric passing make him as talented as any prospect in the draft. Fourth would be Emmanuel Moutier. While Moutier's jump shot is definite concern, his size, potential, and ability to get into the paint gives him a lot of potential. Mario Zonia would fall in fifth. Zonia's elite athleticism, great size, and incredible perimeter shooting gives him a world of potential. Justice Winslow would be ranked sixth, as his defense, rebounding, and ability to push the ball in transition are all very valuable skills and his perimeter shot showed enough signs at Duke to be very intriguing. Willie Cauley-Stein's ability to dominate on the defensive side of the court means he falls no further than 7. With how important defensive versatility is, Cauley-Stein could end up being one of the best players in this draft, even if he never puts up great offensive numbers. 